Hi everybody, very quickly I wanted to show you that I had taken a piece of uh, rump steak and uh, I had marinated it last night with the following ingredients and I'm going to put it up on the stove right now and let it slow cook for at least two hours. I've used 300 grams of boneless beef but you may also use it with bones. I've used about three tablespoons of soya sauce, one teaspoon of vinegar, some crackled black pepper, there's about three or four cloves of sliced um, garlic in this and uh, a teaspoon of sesame oil, a little bit of salt. I grated half a carrot into this and if you increase the amount of beef, then you need to increase the amount of grated carrots too. I've also grated one onion into this, but that was a medium sized onion. So just like the carrots, if you increase the amount of beef, you need to increase the amount of onions. But the key ingredient to this roast that makes it different is the ginger powder that I've used generously. I've taken one tablespoon of ginger powder that's available in the market everywhere just like garlic powder is and I have added that to this marinade. The next step is you take a pot like this and you make sure it's heated. Add some oil and this has to be really really hot when you place the beef rump in this. And this has to be seared on both sides. So you're going to sear it about 3 minutes each side. Once it's browned, we're going to be adding some water and uh, we're going to boil this down and cook it to this time. I've added the leftover marinade in the bowl. I'm going to saute this well till the liquid dries up a bit. And then I'm going to be adding water and turning the fire down to low and cooking this for at least an hour, an hour and a half. You need to add water up to the brim so that the beef submerges in the water. You may cover this now and let it cook on slow fire for one hour at least. And while the beef cooks, I've also put up some potatoes that I will show you what I'm going to do with. And here I have some uh, spaghetti that I'm boiling and I'm just about to make the sauce. So keep tuned in guys. I'm going to start off by adding two tablespoons of cut up garlic. And as it starts to get a little light gold, I'm going to be adding half a teaspoon of red chili flakes and half a teaspoon of dried basil, half a teaspoon of dried parsley. Mix that really well. And to this mixture, I shall be adding some light chunks of tuna, uh, which come in uh, a can of water and salt. So this isn't flavored, this is just a light tuna. Add that to the mix along with the water. Raise the fire. The liquid has evaporated and the oil has risen to the top. So basically I've sorted the tuna very well. It's smelling so good along with the garlic and red chili flakes and the herbs. At this point, I'm going to be mixing in some tomatoes. Here I have some peeled plum tomatoes in a can. Add that to the mix. Stir really, really well. And then you can cover it till the tomatoes kind of dissolve into this liquid. I'm also going to be adding these delightful cherry tomatoes. Look at the color. Cherry tomatoes are different from peeled plum tomatoes, so I like a mix of both in um, this much amount of uh, sauce for half a packet of spaghetti. And while that sauce cooks, I've washed some salad and I have boiled about five potatoes. I'm going to mash this in this very innovative masher and I'm obviously going to be making mashed potatoes as a side for the beef and the pasta and the salad. All you have to do is peel five potatoes and slice it thin lengthwise and boil it in salted water. After it's done, you have to make it um, kind of soft by... It's very difficult for me to do this with one hand, but I'll just show you once it's done. So it goes into that and then I have to press push it. I'm really trying to show you how it's done, but I don't think it's happening. I don't have the strength in my right hand. Oh, okay, I managed. 
I've added about one and a half tablespoon of butter and half a cup of milk. I'm not going to be going very heavy on this uh, mashed potatoes today, so I shall not be adding the cream. But if you want, you can do that. I have lemon pepper seasoning with me today, so I'm going to be using a teaspoon of that. And keep in mind that lemon pepper has salt in it, so I haven't used salt. However, I have used half a teaspoon each of the basil uh, herb that I had lying around and half a teaspoon of parsley. And I've used half a teaspoon of red chili flakes. I'm going to give this a good mix. And because I'm in a hurry today, I've added two slices of uh, sliced cheese. If you have mozzarella or cheddar, that will do very well. When that's mixed well, you put that in a bowl and then you pour over a little bit of truffle oil. And this will make such a difference to the mashed potatoes, believe me. Oh my god, I had a bite of this and this is so good. It is so good. Let's check up on the pasta. I think the sauce is ready. The next thing I'm going to add to this is a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of garlic powder, maybe a dash of uh, red wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar, and then add in the spaghetti. So it's time to add the spaghetti to the sauce. You must always remember there has to be more sauce than spaghetti. So it doesn't matter if I have some left. I can use that in something else. I'm going to mix this really well. If I need to add more spaghetti, I shall. But I don't think I need to. This is ready to be eaten. I have garnished this with parmesan and some coriander. If you have basil, you should um, preferably be using that. The beef has a while to go, so I'm going to have to come back in a couple of hours and then show you what all I've done with it. The pasta and the truffle oil mashed potatoes are ready. I just have to make the salad and I have to make the beef. But in the meantime, I have something else. This is the flesh of one avocado and I've mixed it with a little bit of uh, chopped up garlic, about half a teaspoon. Uh, half a chopped up onion, there's some chili flakes, salt, there's some dried oregano, dried basil, dried parsley. And I've also poured truffle oil over this. I'm going to give it a good mix. The roast beef is finally done. I'm going to cut thin slices. And I'm going to add this back into the sauce because I think this mix is yummy and it needs to be coated in the sauce. Put that back on the fire and let's cover it and cook it for another 15 to 20 minutes. And the broth has dried up. The roast beef is ready. This is yummy, guys. I want you to have this with a side of mashed potatoes, the pasta I made, some French or Italian bread. And enjoy this uh, easy roast beef recipe.